I they wanted play. to go back to um, when you were talking about the two women and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I know that you're Muslim. So I know that in that religion, don't they normally can marry, you know, multiple wives and stuff like that? Up to that? four wives, yeah. Up to four wives. Mm -hmm. So do they do that where they have two women as in like Yeah, together? you can have two women, but you can't have two women in the same bed or nothing like that. You, The role of a, of a man in, is first of all, rem, like, if there is a God and we all pretty much believe that it is, we have to look at the fact that always and at all times there have been more women on this planet than men. Men are doing things to get themselves um, killed earlier. Little boys, 16, 17, 18, I'm talking about since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. have done things to make them the ones that are dying prematurely. Mm -hmm. So what you leave is women mm -hmm. in the wake of that. Um, and as a, as a healing for us, uh, God placed that we can have more than one wife provided that you can provide adequately, equally for both or whoever it is. Um, and it's not just a financial thing. You have to be able to be there for emotion. You have to do all, you have to fulfill the obligations of what it takes for you to have another wife or whatever. And if you can do that, then Alhamdulillah, you allowed to to do that. But if you can't do it, um, and you know what, what because that some does, people make it sound like it's just all fun. Like you can just have mm -hmm. them, and they could be in the same bed. You're they can do this. They can yeah, do that. Yeah, that structure to it, and it's you know what it's to keep you from the lust and pleasure. It's to have an honorable way to engage in some of these activities and also to take care of what comes from these uh, uh, rendezvous, if you will. You're not just having sex with these women over here and you done messed around and got this girl pregnant and the whole constitution of what you have done is going to bear something that's going to have a ramificate, bad ramifications all the way 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. You putting a broken individual out there. Right. You know, on the streets or whatever. So it is, I tell people that I had a video that I did the other day about baby mamas and about how having, it was never designed for you to have no baby mama. It was never designed. So there's no such thing as a great baby mama and baby daddy situation. There is not a such thing. You're talking about sexual immorality and doing things. I'm talking yeah. about that 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 child and trying to rear, rear that a, child. A, a even headed young person into a a good young man or, or woman. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that the 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 it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I get it. I get but it. they're telling you that it does. They're everybody's trying to say that it does. Man, I'm I'm I live in Austin. My son is up here in Dallas. You try to be a long distance parent, you try to uh, uh, instill values from 177 miles away. It's just, it's wherever the environment that the child is primarily. That's what they're adopting to. That's what it's going to be. And, and, and anything that you try to instill is, it, is. It's falling on. It's like going to school. I'm going to act a certain way in school, but however I really am at home, that's how I'm going to be when I get out of school. I'm just behaving this way right here. You know, so I just try to caution people to think before they put themselves in a position to where you're going to be bringing yet another uh, uh, person into this world that you believe some kind of way is going to just be great uh, in spite of the fact that that you and a mother not together. Just basic, wholesome things that we just, we done took for granted and we living in the reality. Family of, values mean so much. We living in the saying. reality yeah. of what happens when you just disregard all that. But I'm gonna tell you this, the 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 master, he not, he not disregarding his like that. He's married. And if he do got somebody on the side, a mistress or whatever, she's on the side and in her place. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying like the, the overseer, they don't live like the way that they champion in us to live. So we're not, there's other things that comes with uh, having a man 
grinding with the idea of taking care of his family. That type of shit leads to prosperity, you know. But we don't by we we not being set up like that. So our lives is reflecting us back struggle, and 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 pain and turmoil, and we don't. If somebody say to you in the middle of your turmoil that, um, especially as a young man, man, you know what? You should just bear down, get yourself together, get you a good woman and work. That it it, it gets bad when the truth sound like some bull. It sound like what I I need to get myself right before I. Not knowing that you, this is you supposed to have somebody with you in life mm -hmm. to go through your ups and downs with. We don't even talk that nobody people don't even talk about say that. that no people more. always say I'm going to get my finances right. I'm going to get get my life right before I settle down and have this person. I'm like you're gonna always have ups and downs with finances yeah. and with your life with problems and For everything sure. else. So when is the right time? When is the the right time? is to learn what you just said, that you're going to have to go through something. But if you do it in the way that was prescribed, you're going to see the difference between doing it the correct way and doing it the incorrect way. I see there's people out here doing it. That, what do you do when you, when you had a child with somebody out of wedlock mm -hmm. and then your child's mother starts messing with a step stud, a stud? And she tell you, hey, man, that's my business. Mm. What I choose to do, with, well, I don't tell you them hoes you running with you. You running with females the way you want to do it. She done found her female that wear a strap on. <laughs> you can't, and can't nobody say nothing because it go back to the boosted thing. You can't tell me what to do. You living the way you choose to live. I live the way I choose to live. But what do we get out of this child right here? What, what, what happens with this right here? Nothing. I'm going to go back to the Nas X for just a second. With the well, Nas, you X. Nas X. Yeah. No, because when I say that, you know, <laughs> I was watching a TikTok, and I'm going to refer to this. I was watching a TikTok, TikTok. earlier, and it showed a little baby. And um, the mom said, you know, cursed to the baby, said, you know, what you doing, you little this, 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 whatever. And the baby, probably about. Two years old, just terrible twos, because she said terrible twos. Turn around and started cussing to the mom or whatever, and I'm like, this is a learned behavior. This is something right. that they rehearsed so they could film and put out. She, so we looked at the comments. So you turn the comments off because you know you're gonna have people saying all sorts of stuff. Of course. But the reason why I reflect it back to the Nas X because in society, because of social media. People are all about views, getting seen, getting likes, Nonsense. getting all of Nonsense. that. So Nonsense. it's F how can kids. I, how can I updo, <laughs> how can I updo everybody for everybody to be talking about me, whether it be positive or negative, but more negative because negative is still going to give you pocket change because sure. people are buying his views. So in society, and this was a white, you know, family. So black or white, you have people out there who are trying to updo just to get views and it's always in a negative way. So are you it's never saying in a that what, are way. you saying that that's what Nas X is doing? Yeah, he's trying to updo cuz as you said, updo his first video, his first music because yeah, 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 that's, he that's has too no big talent of a song to come back from. He's because not, he has no he's talent. Not talented. He's not talented. Yeah. So Musical. he's going so he has to do the theatricals to do so. So that his next thing he's going to come out with is going to even be even more controversial than this. This we've seen this though, and it, it ends like one thing about it. It doesn't matter after a while. The stick plays out in the music game. We still listen to Patty Labelle. That's correct. If you got it, you'll be here in music. If you don't got it, you won't last. It's that simple. Look at these little kids out here thinking that they rappers. It don't last. No, I got to ask you a question. It's just a phase. I got to ask you a question about, uh, I, I interviewed, we went to Los Angeles and we interviewed uh, a Freeway Rick Ross. Rick Ross. And he was, he was telling us that he, because he did, you, you did how many? You did fifteen. You you did fifteen. Seven. I did. I did seven. Seven. Wait a minute. I did seven. I got out for three. I went back and did twelve. Okay. That so that's what that's, that's uh, 19. nineteen years. Mm -hmm. And he did twenty years. But he was it's saying true. that he if he one day is too long. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but when he he said when he was he he if he uh he was like if I'd have filed the court case on Rick Walsh five days before I got out, they were saying that he would have 
been able to win the case about his name. And I don't. I, I just want to know, how do you feel? Do you feel like, because Rick Ross says that the other Rick Ross was portraying him. I um, just want to get your thoughts on it. Okay, Rick, Rick Ross. First of all, uh, I have a career in music because of who I represent in music, which is G's, right? Um, those that participate in the life like I did or participate like a, a Rick Rouse, right? The real Rick Rouse. Mm -hmm. I find it really bad, you know, disheartening that you could live your whole life in gangsterism. Uh, you could live your whole life in that and someone could take your actual history and um, profit from it and don't owe you nothing. The overall message of it, and he, he'd been wronged, according to him, by quite a few people, even John Singleton. Yeah, John Singleton, he also said it was another guy that, that, that took that first documentary, the uh, crack, that crack documentary mm -hmm. that he had out, that he didn't get all the rights to that as well. Like, it seemed like a, it keep happening well, to what, him. What I would say to that for people that I'm telling you man a gangster hardly ever get his due man he he anybody like you know for the allure of it it's always seeming to be more people prospering from it than us the ones that are that um whether you going to prison you don't even know you going to prison as a business to put money in their pockets. They mm -hmm. just locking us up. They winning off of that. Um, not only that, they, the story, DAs, how people get raises, how people become valuable police people, you know, uh, is by taking us down, you know? So when you really think about it, it's so designed for you to lose on a street level when you're in the streets you don't really understand that it's designed for you to lose all the way from everything in that lifestyle that you profited off of, of uh, the stories that are valuable stories that are interesting. I didn't even know people gave a damn about me talking about prison. Like people want me to talk about like different shit that happened in prison. I'm paying dues down here. Maybe I witnessed a marriage in prison between homosexuals. Maybe I witnessed all kinds of things people like i've seen some amazing things in jail that to other people are valuable to them or, or, or interesting to them but when you have a person with a story as as fantastic as a rick ross it's just ripe for vultures man it's just right for people to come in and take it and he ain't the only one think there's people that are so associated uh murder inc Okay. Uh, Murder Inc. Y'all took that name from the uh, the mafia. Okay. You know, so there. How many people have taken their uh, aliases and rap from the mafia? Yeah, no. They gonna say he took his, but he 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 kind of he complimented them with the fact that hey, you know, thanks for letting me use it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, but it's hip hop. It gets borrowed in the arts. You're going to, artists steal. They do it. That's what it is. So Rick Ross is a gangster. So with, with that being said. And that's Freeway Rick Ross. Freeway. The real Rick, the real Rick Ross out of Tyler, Texas. The yeah. real Rick Ross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, you got to become, business is art as well. You got to become an artist, man. You got to, he's done it. He's, he's transitioning and started hustling in different ways. And you got to bring your flair and pizzazz to whatever it is that you do. That don't mean that when people rob you for you don't fight or whatever. It's just recognizing that I have to keep continue to evolve and create and to stamp my uh, ideas and presence into this life for as long as I have the opportunity right. to do it. Because these are the things that can happen. William Leonard Roberts the third taking your identity and becoming one of the greatest rappers of all time with some of your uh, aesthetics 
that really happened in your life. Him doing it in a you're slim. He's big. You're demure. He's braggadocious. He just took and borrowed from what you had going on and took it off into a whole nother. No, not borrowed. He just took it because he's not giving it back. When you borrow something, you give it back. He's not going to say, okay, I'm, I'm old now. So here you he, can have he it back. He is a, that's what another, this is hip hop too. Hip hop in hip hop. He a legend. He's a, this, those were his paints that he used. Your life was my paint that I put into my art. You know, it's, that's what it was. I got a, I got another question too. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Spot him, got him, got shot five times. Uh, this car was shot up 20, and he's in critical 22 times. Still? Yeah. And somebody said, you know, Sean Cotton was on here and he that's told us that, yeah. that Spot him, got him mm -hmm. was his artist. I seen comments where they say he was eating pizza uh, why after this had happened, po and it did get posted on his page first, of course, on Say Cheese platform. Um, I'm just trying to understand that the, the, it has to be a difficult thing to 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 look at dealing with these artists. And Who was them, eating pizza? He, uh, Sean Cotton was, but I think he was in New York, and, and he was. But the, I'm just showing you how social media grabs everything and try to. Make it out to be something that so it may not be. So what they expect him to do? He got to eat. Well, he posted it. They, they're saying, I think they wanted him to mourn, you know, the fact that. He ain't dead. Well, the, to be sorrowful for the fact that he got <laughs> shot five times. Okay. Be sorrowful, yeah. Yeah. And um, they didn't get that. Uh, to them, they didn't get it. Right. He might have been crying he all the time. Been. You know? Right. But, I, can't, I can't speak on uh, uh, what his reaction was to stuff like that. But I will tell you this, as somebody that's in this game and behind. Man, whatever you think that somebody should say to somebody in lieu of good information, trust it's been it's been told to whoever. Not ninety five percent times people have have received the uh, the word to the wise, and if you choose to keep doing whatever it may be that's putting you in harm's way or putting you in danger. I think that it's crazy that people look at the ones that are in a business relationship with you and feel like they should have a response uh, like your mom or somebody. Yeah, responsibility. Like hey, that, man, yeah. you you my my employee, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you're his. Sean Cotton is Spottom Gotham's boss. Yeah. That's his boss. So, when you know, hey. I know no one likes to hear it. And what he got bosses, other artists. Do bosses send a, a, a get well card to the uh, to the hospital to get well soon. Yeah, but I need somebody to come out here and keep making these songs mm -hmm. that do hundreds of millions of views. Right. And when you take yourself out of that equation, my primary focus becomes replacing that. Mm. That's what I have yes. to do now. Yeah, yeah, to keep the business. I need my evolved. pizza to yeah. get my mind going. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta eat, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? You gotta start you, figuring out how long is he gonna be out, or how, how much long how much this? music do I got of yours? Do you have a connection like a a Mo three, or can I keep your legacy a lot? Is, what's your legacy worth at this point? You, can hey. you come back from this? Yeah. Oh, uh, if you get shot and you live, yeah, you, you can, can come back. back. He's you in he's in strong. stable condition. We're, we're praying yeah. and hoping that you know he he get a speedy recovery. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we we definitely want to see him come back and and maybe this here is just I've not a, heard about this. By well, the way. Well, yeah, I get mm -hmm. it, but yeah, th this may be a, his bottom got him as a young kid and and you know he had that big song, but at the end of the day, but it, my shirt that y'all made. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's so crazy. This this here is beautiful, man. This I I ain't gonna lie to you. I was very surprised. Let's get on it then. I'm very surprised. I wanted to ask bro. you about these songs on this. Okay, on this. but I'm just, I'm just, man, that's, that's love, man. That's love. I'm just, it just, it blows my mind. Well, I'm I telling you. Hopefully it fits you. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to fit. Oh, it's going to fit. Well, I it's think large, it's a large. large. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I just, you know, we just love hard, man. And we try to set the bar, man. You know, I talk about those other people and instances, but at yeah, the end you know, of the day. Yeah, you know, those are good things. Those to, are good things, but things we definitely want to try to get everybody to understand and be aware of there are guys out here like you that, yeah. that, that, transition and got to stand on morals right? Like, mm -hmm. and and got a spiritual grounding yeah. you know in a belief system where he knows what he's up against and he's willing to challenge it with 
morality. Yeah, and they come with dick riding. <laughs> that the that this is something that they do <laughs> to to advance their careers. It's nothing genuine about that. You know what I mean? It's these I'm seeing people every day deride people that I'm really cool with. Yeah. That you don't even know. Wow. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing I'm seeing people that I'm cool with say something on my post and I'm watching people run up on the post and yeah, that's show right. Wow. Man, you my boy, man, don't be doing that embarrassing us. Yeah, like that's that. right. Let me ask you this before I forget <laughs> about it. Uh uh people that run up and, and they incriminate themselves on these type platforms, right? Right. Like Vlad T V, he got a big reputation for People go on there for them a- and they answering go to questions. Yeah, for an- he yeah. asked the question mm-hmm. and they answer the question. And he, you know, and they end up going to jail or whatever. What do you? What are your thoughts on that? The biggest misconception is that um, do Vlad have a responsibility not to ask those questions? No, he's doing he's doing his he's job. Doing My his only, job. I only, only, only had one problem with Vlad. What's that? He he misquoted. The honorable minister I Louis Farrakhan would not apologize. He wouldn't recant those statements. Apologize. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that was like, whoa. You know? And um everybody don't have to take up the same fight, I understand. But I don't watch Vlad at all no more. Like because I don't, after that happened, you man, shut you it down. Can't, you, you can't do Minister Farrakhan like that. That's all we got. We don't got nobody else. What, what, what do you think his agenda was? I just think that he he's um, just somebody who... Why would he do that? I don't think that he... In, I don't necessarily un, know if he did it on purpose. But he found out the repercussions afterwards because right, society and, and public... Right, he could apologize later on, it. but he decided not to. He so, decided not so to. So he know that by not apologizing, it's going to bring... That um, views and well, the negative stand, stand statements what he and, in and whatever. What he said, he stand on it. The division. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. He stood on what he said. And he said he wasn't going to apologize, and he didn't. And it's because our little group that we in, well, we ain't stiff and solid at all. We can't boycott nothing. We, we, we don't have no type of togetherness about it. You know, and I just, I'm telling you, and it go back to your boy Charleston White that y'all love. Oh, yeah, he's been on the platform. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> but you, I understand. I, I don't have no real, I, oh, when it comes to. Why y'all can't boycott? Y'all got a huge organization. No, first of all, I'm not Nation of Islam. No, nah, yeah, he's not but yeah, but on. but he do un, he he have a understanding of, of Minister Lewis Farrakhan. Yeah, he, he, I just don't been, know yeah. no black person who got a problem with Minister Louis Farrakhan or can't see the value that he's brought to the black community or try to say that that there is something that he's doing things and 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 it ain't affected us in Fort Worth or he when I ain't never seen him or, or nothing like that. With all due respect to every person with their own mind and with their own opinion, sometimes you gotta be able to see outside of yourself and see the ripple effects of what has been laid down for you to be able to have a voice at all. Mm-hmm. Can yeah. What would life have been if there was not in yeah. America, if there had not been a nation of Islam? Yeah, you think about it. I, I know I've seen uh, Charleston White and Brother Ben X together this morning. Yeah, uh, beautiful. I, yeah, I've seen them with the kids and Dewberry, you know. Yeah, uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. They all, I guess they was. And another thing is, I don't, you don't want to go, in, anybody that's bringing awareness and attention to the issues that Charleston and brother being X for sure that mm-hmm. man, you don't want, you don't want to be in opposition to point out um, just the flaws of somebody that's doing 60% good. Cause we all have flaws. Yeah. But on one of my flaws is not disrespecting somebody with the age that I am. He done did been working in this way. For that long. Come on now, man. I get it. You talking about somebody that all your life been in the trenches calling out the true enemy, calling out who's the one that's really got us like this here, standing out there. I don't give a damn. I'm not taking no money from them. I'm going I'm to stay a thorn in their side. I'm banned off of Facebook. I'm banned off of all of these, these platforms. They not. I'm not their friend. I never took a dollar from them, you know. And some of these people that y'all stand beside and smile with, 
you know, these people are in pocket with these folks. You can't Farrakhan is off limits on the on the you know, on the criticism part. You know, he he he's one he's the only one we got really. I can't think of another one that's like really off limits. Wow. Like what can we say about it? We can't we can't be doing I wanna that. I wanna ask you about this. Why did you start with Odin Street on on uh, Crown's Ten? Odin. Uh yeah, man. Odin Street one just um I think I just I named it that for the feeling that I get when I think about some of our moms that had passed. Uh, you know, uh, my mom for sure, but some of my friends' moms uh, that are on Odin. That's just the feel that I got from that. Rest in peace, Romy Carroll, okay. Romy C, uh, Billy K. Uh, just some of our moms. And and it just the energy of that song is what made me call it Odin Street. I just could, if you close your eyes, I could just see like the our moms, man. Yeah, our, yeah I get it. Our moms were not perfect, but all all of our moms, they they had to fight up against some crazy shit, man. And just to rear strong sons in that type of. You know, environment or whatnot is just is crazy, man. It's what just, about that um, bad in boxing? What is bad in boxing? Bad for boxing. Bad for boxing. What is that? What bad is that for about? boxing. You know how they be saying things is bad for boxing. Like, uh, I don't like know if what? you watch boxing. Like what? I watch a little. I, I watch. Well, like um, fixing fights. That's bad for any sport because people <laughs> fix sports all the time. Right. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Kiki need to hear that. <laughs> that. He think that he think that boxing is so corrupt, and and that's the reason why he, you know all sports. It's about making money. That's that's all. All, all sports about. have hidden agendas, things that they doing. There's a such thing as superstar calls in basketball, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody questions the unfairness of that. So if my name is Joe Blow and I'm going to the going to the the hoop at the end of the game, y'all ain't gonna call no foul on me because my name ain't or for me, even if I get hacked because my name ain't LeBron James. Mm. But anyway, on on bad for boxing, I'm just pointing out stuff that in my mind that that is bad for the game itself, like just different things that I see. Name Dykes. one thing. Oh, okay. Playing father, just what the fuck? Like this, all of this stuff is bad for boxing. What about January seventh? What happened? That's my birthday. That's why you put that there. I named it that, but it's just one of them. That's January seventh is vintage. What me and Mister Lee do? That's that's me and Lee like types. That's what they want to. They want him to do that. What he was doing. They want him to bring the organ out, go, or go stupid aggressive with the organ and they want me to talk it like I talk it aggressively on that so it's really like just vintage me and Lee I was proud of Mr. Lee when I seen Drake use his beat on that on that on that uh, track you know what I'm gonna tell you what's crazy about like I'm gonna tell you what's crazy Lee is so underappreciated um it's it's maddening wow yeah, it's maddening when people say certain things and like y'all, man, it ain't no southern sound. What I Lee? What's the southern sound then if it ain't Mr. Lee? Taking the essence of what has been laid down and upping it to the highest level, man, that's that's all Lee. That's Lee's the one that did that, that so, made that. So that again, platforms don't recognize people like they should a lot of times. In my eyes, I, I just pulled up in this, mm -hmm. and I just feel like a lot of times the platforms don't do what they supposed to. The bloggers, the, the interviewers. The, the, I'm going to tell you what's even worse about Lee. Some people, they don't get their flowers because they fell off, right? They fell off, so don't nobody want to talk about you. You yesterday's new. But he's been consistent. Man, Lee richer than he ever been. He finna get another another platinum plaque again. That's gonna be a platinum plaque right yep, there. Yep. He just got one last year with Nipsey Hussle's. Pro he's consistently 
been snagging platinum plaques since he came into the game. Like, what the fuck? When is he? You know, like, it's, bro, I'm with the underappreciated. I'm I'm in the, in a team with the underappreciated. So it's it's common for me. Kiki is another underappreciated. Like I'm it's it's things that you gotta know about rap. It ain't no ain't no pimp C, Bun B, ain't no what the the pimp C that we came to know and love, yeah, we loved them on Pocket Full of Stone. Yeah, we loved um UGK tell band good. tell me something good, but that riding dirty. That was hard. That's that, the one everybody That language, about. that style, that everything that them boys was putting out, man, that screwed up. That's that talking about drink coming down, all of that shit. Where you get that from? We ain't heard y'all say that now time before before Rod Nerdy. Two albums before that. They got more than that. They no, got I'm UGK like two, band. Two album before that one Rod Nerdy. You got Tell out. Me Something Good. You got yeah. Super Tight. Yeah, Super Tight. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it was two. Just two. You got cut, Too Hard to Swallow. Too Hard to Swallow and then Super Tight. And then, then Super Tight. And then, but then. before that, you had UGK band. Yeah, you said three, three albums. albums. Yeah. We ain't heard now coming down. We talking about Dayton's. Y'all talking about Dayton's. Y'all talking about, you know, like Dre and, and all of this type of stuff. Then Riding Dirty. Now you rapping about screwing, you know, and we all do respect because we all, I, we, we, we artists bar from each other culture. It gets passed, it gets passed around. You know what I'm saying? So all of these different things, they influence us and they, they cause us to speak and think and act and rap differently. But I'm just saying, man, Kiki, he ain't, he ain't got his just do in this yeah. shit. He and I, and I agree, but I'm telling you right now, if he was on the East Coast, they would have been and put him in and did all these things for him. But we have to do that for ourselves but in the here's South. Here's the other thing. He's rich. Correct. So uh, they Biz Markie and them was poor. Correct. Uh uh um uh What about D Papoose? You got Papoose? Papoose, up there? DMX, DMX, DMX. DMX wasn't doing wasn't doing too good. Right, financially. Right. Black Rob done made one of the biggest songs ever in the world. Not doing good. Go check out Lil Troy. Lil Troy made one of the biggest songs in the world. He, sure did. he doing good. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, so you're saying it, it, it may look a certain way, but when you get down to the dividends, uh, the we, trade off. Yeah, yeah, we get into that money. Just, for me, the, for the same shit for me. Would you want a million streams get you 4,000? 160 flash drives from me. 160. Not thousand. 160 flash drives I make 4,000 with. Wow. That's that's one that's a half a day of sales. Wow. What the hell? Like I'm I'm not even, you know, and this is where we live in. We live in a time of misinformation, a lot of, you know, craziness that got people thinking that um something is winning when it's really not. We want the bread. We want we do what we love to do and we want the money from it. And I the accolades and the respect that come with this, I get it only. Only from the fans. Only I can't get it from, the from Paris. uh, from from Ebro, or from Charlemagne the guy. I like like I get mine directly. It's on my phone every day. I'm waking up to it, man. Add whatever you did this or do. It only comes from the fans. You direct to consume. Yeah, my satisfaction come from them. I don't give a damn if you're not buying my albums. I don't give a damn about what you think about what I'm doing, my music or nothing like that. Which is true. So but true. um, on all your crowns, do you always normally give fifteen crowns? Ten. Fifteen stop songs. Playing. Stop playing. Crowns. Ten. Stop playing. Y'all need give to get in touch songs? with Al D. On all of them, or primarily. Primarily, are you ever gonna do one? Are you gonna give more? I've done a double disc before. Crown Seven was a double disc. It was twenty some odd. Because that's the one you thought that it was going to be the last. Be the that's the reason why. But thanks to these people, these 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 people out here, they 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 every when you start when you, fans say another thing is people don't got fans. They don't got fans or supporters or none. They don't got no fans. You I've seen a lot of people that sit right here where I'm sitting at. Yeah, and they got something to do with you right there, brother. E. Crowns 10. I brought them on. I got e, you shirts on. These look, 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 wait a minute. Uh -uh, I got he shirts trying to avoid on. It. He trying to avoid I got, it. I got CDs. I got all this stuff going on. I got LD300 in here. Shout out to LD300 nah, for talk coming about through. E. <laughs> he be having these people that ain't got no fans. Who do, who, okay, you, you, okay. Who, who you talking well, about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, saying that you don't ah, have a who fan. Who you talking about? <laughs> 
There's a lot of people that Name sit- one or two. I love all the people. Okay, name one or two. Do Since that. he's saying that you running from the question, uh, name I, one or two. I think and, and, I, and should, I should be general because they. I'm in a position to hurt feelings. <laughs> I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> but the reality of it is, what what what, what do we do to work, change man? it? What, what do, we, do we do to help them? You I told you that I last time you, you came on here. I keep telling you, you but you don't like the that. answer. They have to you grow. Like the you got to show them. You got to show them. You're showing them right there. That is my 10th. Uh, that is the 13th album I've done in 30 months. That's what I'm telling you, sir. Th- in 30 months, AD got out March 25th, 2019. Whatever the day is, that's what the day is. We're 13 albums later, and I'm here for the second time. You just started, E. You I ain't, ain't had no you months. ain't had no pie. You ain't mad. Nah, six I'm months. back. When I was here last time, what album I had then? I had Crown Nine. <laughs> yeah, I had Crown Nine. Yeah, I'm here again because Crown Ten. Hey, y'all boy, y'all I'm better get it. I got it. I got it. mine. I got, I got mine. Yeah. yeah. This is what time we living in, man. You we living in a time where you gotta work if you okay. wanna eat, man. You gotta well, work. Hey man, listen, man. I I could go all day and all night with you. Yeah. I know you got something else you gotta, you gotta do. Go get into and, it. And and, and Man, you gonna be right back because Crowns yeah. Eleven is coming. Mm. Yeah, we yeah. Let's it, take yeah. a little time to enjoy <laughs> enjoy ten. You, you be working, before, man. man. No telling what might happen. You are, you probably already have the songs ready for Crowns Eleven. I see Mr. Lee with heavy on this thing, man. I'm, I'm about to. Woo, I'm, I'm happy about this. I'm feeling. You know what I'm about to do in that Escalade? We feel the hey, all the way uh, to uh, Allen. Shout it's out Lee, he the greatest man. He, hey he, man, he I, the greatest. We about to bless him. He coming back. He already yeah. told me come back. Yeah. We about to bless. You know how we do it. Yeah, man. We the only platform. Lee, that, listen, Lee. man. You ain't got to worry. You say you ain't get. We gonna give him roses. Yeah. And when do we make it, him roses, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. No. Nobody never, like, nah. But I, I will say this about about Lee and what we do in them crowns. Though we have some tempo in the way that we release them, it's timeless. So when people be in what he has definitely helped me to see why we have a good a good cohesion when we making music together is because we are speaking on them things that will never ever go out of style. That the the way that we do it. It's set up timeless. It's not set up to be of the moment. So that's the reason why you can grab a a track literally 20 years old, about 18, 19 years old, and literally Drake didn't do nothing but just straight played the track. Nothing really was done to it. It sounded exactly the same. That's what it is. We make timeless music. It'll never, ever go out of style. So anytime somebody get on a crown's, wherever they get on it at they like whoa i gotta go back and get all the rest of them because it is it, it's, it's worthy of always being played like the in the same way that you could play a riding dirty forever you could play a uh don't mess with texas or whatever forever we make timeless music in this state the our greatest artists in texas make music that lasts forever so if it's anything that i could i would say to an up-and-coming artist i would say forego trying to make some some shit that go viral right now and really do what your heart tells you to do and stick to it and you're gonna see it's gonna mr play. lee had a lot to say uh, he talked he, he definitely a big up to you when he was on the show yeah so you know, you know that knucklehead yeah. ass you know <laughs> uh, uh sweet potato head ass you know? but he, he, know, he, he definitely picked you up uh, i mean uh love he loved the way you were your work ethic i know yeah. you can tell yeah. what he was saying out yeah. like I, I like I said when he came on, man. I, I was just so blessed, and 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 for y'all to embrace boss talk like y'all have since oh, we got yeah, here, man. man yeah. I mean, it, it's my so, family get to see this, man, man. And this, they they seeing y'all and they learning on them. They don't even pay attention and still learning. They yeah. don't even have to be just watching what's <laughs> going on. They in the interview and they'll come back and say, "Oh yeah," she said he was here the last time right, right. before you came. She yeah. knows, man, and yeah. that's the part that She's makes driving. you light up. Yeah, yeah. And he's chilling. He's driving and all that. <laughs> she, she just, yeah. she been driving for a car. few years. In her own vehicle and all that. <laughs> mm-hmm. How old you was when you had your first vehicle? Um, I had to be about 15. See, 15, 16. That's why they got it. running the family. Yeah, I talked to him early. You? Come on, there we go. Now, she was now, older. I think me and you. I was 22. Before you got your own vehicle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I bought my own car. Yeah. Ain't nobody she bought drove it for a daddy me. truck in Jamaica, man. You got to realize she's from another country. Yeah, I yeah. drove it over there. But when like? I well, came yeah. here, the driving? and I was in college. Crazy. You wouldn't like it, Aldi. <laughs> How often do you go over there? 
I hadn't been but the he time she took me. Yeah. But uh, when her Kingston father passed me, yeah. away. We drive on the opposite side of the road. She we drive it on, to me. We drive on the opposite side of the road. Right. And most cars Did you take him to the Shanty have, Town? She took me everywhere, I bro. I took him all over. I went to the place. No, to the, no, not there. Yeah. No. Over there were uh, Dudas. Mm-mm. I didn't take him. How do you know about all this? You be See, over man, there, too? Look, man, when I... I thought we was wrapping up. I didn't, you wanna, you wanna, I'm not gonna do I'm that. Here telling Save you, it, you gotta go to that appointment over there. I know what you gotta do. Man, shout out my homie Big Duke, my partner Big Duke getting married today. Man, I just gotta see him do it. Man, I love to see. One thing that I love coming to is people's weddings and stuff. People that I know personally, like real goon street people that I know that I can vouch for. If you finna take that next step into forever with somebody. Yeah, I'm coming. Already, man. Yeah, Say, man. Up. Check it, man. Hey, man. Not it, even no it, question. That's my boy, Al D. He came mm-hmm. through the mm-hmm. Share Crowns truck. 10 f- with us. And I'm going to be honest with you, you guys. Hey, man, if you ain't tapped in Al D, you ain't tapped it. in, man. This is this here. This this is a lot, bro. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. This is a lot. I was definitely not expected. I seen like this. It's crazy, bro. I just can't even believe. It. Thank y'all. Hey, man, you're yeah, very welcome, and we man. love you, man. I love you too, man. Say, man. You gotta show us a picture when you when put you it put it on. Tag us so we can put it out there, man. You know Say, check it, man. It's you been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And we out.